hello guys you are welcome to today's training okay um in today's training we'll be learning how to design a logistic website you can see this is an example of a logistic website as you can see here all right so we'll be designing something like this i'll be showing us how to design a full-time logistic website with a tracking code all right you can see track your order to tracking code with also um, integrate the live charts and um, barcode all of this functionality will be integrated in this um, uh, logistic website all right so this is it you can see from the beginning to the end you can see all of this come over to this you can see our services come to services all right you can see you can see can see it now these are services air freight ocean freight road freight you can see listen uh, listening to you whatever thing you can see here everything that is working on a logistic website would also be integrated in this video you can see everything working perfectly well All right so without wasting much of our time let's dive into the training All right so first and foremost like i always say you need to have a domain name and a hosting before you can begin this particular training you need to have your own domain name right so once you purchase your domain name you'll be given access to a cpanel which you have here i see this is an example of a cpanel right so once you are in your cpanel you just come over to wordpress because this particular site you are seeing is built with wordpress so we'll also be doing the same thing i'll be taking you through this particular training from the beginning to the end everything we'll be doing here so like I would say, I always tell you guys, don't just watch a video and start implementing. Always take your time. Watch, watch the video from the beginning to the end before, before implementing. Right? Just take your time. Watch the video from the beginning to the end. And if in the course of implementing you have any questions, please do wait to reach out to us. I will be glad to fix it for you. All right? So let's begin. So once you're in your cPanel, come over to WordPress. All right? Come over to WordPress, just click on it. Alright. Click on it. Then come to install. Alright, just come to install. Alright, so then if you see what we have here, you can see that this particular domain has a, a website on it. Okay. So for you that will be doing this for the first time, you don't need to do um don't need to create a subdomain or a directory or a folder just follow the same step i will be doing okay just follow the same step i will the same thing i'll be doing is what you're going to implement on your own site all right just that you will not be creating a folder like for me now i will be creating a folder i can say um ship will i put it there uh tt cargo let me just use that word tt cargo okay all right so this is it but for you just install it the same thing i'm installing just install it on your domain then put your password put your username put your password i can remove this i just put admin right so put it there and then come over to this place tick this classic editor all right then once you are done with that leave every other thing and just scroll down click on install okay just give it some time to install as you can see the thing is already installing it's already installing installing good now you can see this is the front end let's open that why this is the back end okay you can see this is the front end might blowing a, a blow without a, a bad philosophy you can see so once you install a thing a wordpress on any site this is what you get and by looking at this now this cannot give us what we want okay so this is the front end while this is the back end this is the back end of any once you install a WordPress, this is always what you get. Our version is 6.11, you can see there. Then once you are here, now the next thing is for you to install the team that we'll be using. So if you are having this access to this video, we'll be given this team. Okay, it's a premium team for logistic websites. So just click on it, you can see there, click on team. Then click on add new. Right, click on add new. Then I click on upload because the reason why I'm uploading it is that the team is not here. It's not here. You can see this team is not here. So I'll just need to upload it. 
and then I'll click on choose file okay so let's wait then I'll go to my desktop let's go to test have it there where is my logistics okay okay transland this is it I'll open it okay then this is it transland then I open it up okay so click on install so you just give it some time for the team to install once it install then we upload um we activate rather once we install we activate then before we begin the customization so looking at this particular one we have here you can see everything that is here everything with full functionality right with full functionality you can see phone number email visit this is the location as in the address of the store the opening hour you can also put your phone number here contact news shop pages services um about all right so can i come over to this place see features what we do okay what we do right now let's go back you can see the team is installed you can see the team is installed installation team from uploaded file transland is installed now you click on what activate click on activate oh good you make you activate you can see you can see the, the team here now you can see the team then you click on what begin installing plugin you can see it here because every team has its own plugin just click on begin installing plugin easy then come over to this place tick this place then click on this select install apply all right just give it some time again so that all these plugins can be installed so once it's installed then the next thing is for you to activate right so they are installed now click on return to require plugin installer then click on it to take you back again then repeat the same process but this time you are activating so you do it click on activate then you click on apply Okay, then they are all installed and activated then just click on return to dashboard return to dashboard or you click on this dashboard or you click on this dashboard here either of those two so I don't need this one that is taking me to I'll just remove it then I'll click on enter again okay so this is it now so next is for us to import the demo right you need to import the demo so for you to do that come to appearance and see come to appearance then come to import demo data you can see it here click on import demo data right so you just do that you can see it now these are different demo you can see this you can see different demo you can see different demo so but we'll be looking at this particular one let me go back to it so you can see that we are on the same page okay road okay express delivery road transport express delivery let's come back road transport express delivery let's pre preview okay i think all right good i think this is it the first one the first one the first one is what's giving us that okay so we can preview it if you are not too sure you can preview they are different this thing here you can preview any one of them you can preview right so you just wait you can see okay i think this is it if you want this one too you can also preview it you can also preview oh this this one error okay no problem let's do what we have to do right so just click on import data import demo rather just click on import demo then scroll down and click on 
continue and import. So the moment you do that, this will be taking the import. The, um, this will be importing the content. You can see it now. Please sit tight while we import your content. Do not refresh the page or hit the back button. You just take your time and relax. All right. So let's wait for it to import. All right. You can see the, the demo is completely imported. You can see the demo is completely imported now. Let's click on VC site in the new tab. You can see. This is set in a new tab. <clears throat> so, you can see this is a preloading. So, we can change all of this. You can see our website is 50% ready. Once we are able to import a demo like this, your website is 50% ready. The next is for you to customize everything you have there. Remove the one you want to remove, edit the one you want to edit, and you are good okay all of these things you are seeing here you can edit all of them all this from the beginning from the top here from the top is it from the top here to the least part of it so you can do that now first and foremost before we continue with this we need to edit the header you can see the header we need to edit the header then before we come to the body right so we need to edit the header everything you have up here we need to edit that so for us to do that come back to your dashboard then come to team option you can see team option then you can see preloader setting let's start with them one after the other preloader setting is what you have here when you are loading the site for the first time let me remove this when you are loading the site let me reload the site now and show you what i'm talking about when you are loading the site for the first time you can see this is the preloader setting so come over to this place if you come to preloader setting this is the name you can change this name to the name of your the name you want your website to be let's say for instance i'm not doing i'm not using the um, trans lad i want to use a uh, trans trans s or trans express oh sorry sorry express good express limited limited okay so this will be the name that will be loading when i'm loading the site so you can see they're loading all right if you want to change the color you can change the color right you want to change the color and on anything you know you want to change it you can change then you click on save changes all right then you can also disable it if you don't want it to be showing you can disable it you can see i'll click on disable i'll disable it if i want to enable it you enable it to show if you disable it to not show you enable it to show so you click on save changes all right so next you come to header setting you can see the header setting shows you the different style you can see this now let me show you this you can see the way this one is this is the header setting if you come to this now you can see that this one is different Where is, okay let me reload this let me reload this Okay, I don't know what's, what's this. It's not changing. All right, no problem. Let's continue. So you can see the 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 header settings, different header style. You can see this one. This is different from this. This is the one that came with it. If you want to change this one to your own, you just all come over to this. You select it. You can see once you select, you save. The moment you select anything you have to save it's by saving that which you take effect if you don't save it will not take effect All right so this is this is what you did you just have it there then you have your top bar your top bar is what you have here this is your top bar where you have this phone number this email this address and this social icon all right this is the top bar but if you also want you can see it here. if you also want to disable it you can hide it you can see then you can also show it All right then you can edit the phone number you can see anything at all you see here. i can change this phone number i can change this email i can change this address i can change the um, opening hour this is it here everything i'm saying here they are all here you can see them here this is it the address the email the phone number you can see it all of them they are all here this is the social icon if you come down now the social icon is there so anything at all you are doing make sure you save Okay, 
make sure you save so from here now you can come over to this place this is where you change the logo you can see you click on it to change the logo you can see the logo you change the logo here let's say i want to remove this i'll click on upload i click on choose file let me select file all right when i select file come to my desktop i have um logo okay good you can see these are different logo let me just use this i'll click on this now right so you can change the logo i'll click on select you can see the logo has changed all right then i will watch save changes anything at all you always make sure you save changes if you not save changes it will not take effect okay so i've done that then you come to banner you can see banner if you don't want the banner to show make sure you remove the background banner if you don't want it to show you can hide it you can hide it you can see it now anything at all you don't want make sure you you save okay then you come to navigation navigation bar you can see select the to uh, color the top the right the left All right so if you are working on this kind of this beautiful uh, beautiful logistic um, side um, team rather if you are not too sure of some things don't tamper with it just leave it the way it is the one you know you can edit edit the one you cannot edit just leave it don't mess up things for yourself because they have a default setting all of them you see here they are default they have a default setting so you can easily change the things you are you can change but if you are not too good with it just leave it the way it is do the little adjustment and you will still have a good website all right you still have a good website without cracking your head over things all right then let's continue we have done the, the done this now let you look at this the action button this action button is what you have here you can see this quote uh, get a quote but for me reason because i'm doing a, a logistic website i don't want this uh, get a quote look at this now look at this um this site let me show you something okay oh, sorry let me show you something let me show you something all right so you can see what i'm i'm talking about I don't want this uh, get a quote. I don't want that to be there. I don't want that get a quote to be there. Where is it? I don't want get a quote. Let me look at this now. You can see. Look at what you have here. This is it. Instead of that get a quote, you have track package. So that the moment I click on track package, the moment I click on track package, it will automatically take me to where they will put their tracking number look at this now. if i click on track package it will take me to where they will put their tracking number you can see it now you can see so the same thing i want to be there too all right the same thing i want to be there all right so for me to do this now i need to have my own um tracking number uh, track page so for us to do that for us to do that let me quickly pause here i'll continue from here let me quickly pause on this uh, settings so i need to go and install a plugin come over to this place come to install a plugin come to add new you can see it here add new come to add new then come to over to this place then search for wp cargo then search for wp cargo this is the plugin that is responsible for the tracking the shipping and the, all the other things you can think of you can see it here wp cargo track and trace that is what I want. Then I will click on install. This particular one, you can see it. Then I will click on activate. It's free. You can see it there. It's free. It's free. So I will activate it. Then you can see it now. You might you fix that. These two will come up. They were not here before. Now they are here. So I will come to what? WP Cargo. Come to general settings. Okay. Come to general settings. Right, so everything is here. The little things you can adjust here. Right, these are the states you are shipping to. If you want to see add more, you can still add. These are the shipping carrier, DHL, UPSS, the payment method, the status, pending, pick up or hold, out of delivering, transit, moving, cancel, delivered, returned, whatever. Then the add shipment logo. 
you can add the shipment logo here just click on upload right i will show you the essence of that then click on this logo i want to use this one as my shipment logo i'll click on it then i will click on select right then now we click on what track page setting track page setting just click on this and select track you will see track here you can see it here this is it this particular page automatically comes with this wp cargo so just pick it then come over to this place the font family i want to use this a robot tools and sheriff you can see other ones you can see other ones then i want to put my font size to be 14 all right so i'll come over to this place now auto generate enable auto generate shipment code all right this is um this ones i will remove it i will show you the essence of that depending on you you can decide to add dt dtz as my first number then come over to this now you can see s s y z okay then the number that i want to be there i want to be five sorry i want to be five okay so once you are done with all of this then save changes save changes please look at the way i did it now i didn't temp i didn't tamper with this i didn't tamper with this i didn't tamper with this if you want to add anything look at what they say must be comma separated if i'm adding anything to this now just put it there make sure you put comma the same thing you do here make sure you put comma the same thing you do here make sure you put comma the same thing you do here make sure you put comma but right, so that's that that's how it's set to so you look at the page you look at this one too look at this the font size right then every other thing i change this prefix and this surface i will show you how it will appear you will see when i'm doing my shipment you will see it then you have your taxes you have all these ones so now we are done with the general settings you can see then the next is client email setting because this particular um, logistic website it allows customer to receive email it allows customer to receive email so what you to, to do that now you come to client email setting click on it so once you click on it now you come down to this part you can see domain email create an email for your domain all right you can create an email just let me show you let me quickly show you that create an email so once you can see it now come over to this email account let me take you back to this now if you come to this place now you will see email you can see email so you just come to this place create email account once you create the email account copy the email then bring it here paste it here then add your client email address put your client email address here then leave if you want to have cc that means somebody want to copy put it here somebody want to black copy put it here then leave everything the way it is then click on save changes it's as easy as that then that is for the client that's receiving the email then for the admin who will also receive the email you also come do the same thing you also do the same thing the same the same email you created here the same email you created here copy the same email bring it here put it here also All right then put their admin email put it here then leave every that you can see shipment notification that is what the person will get with a tracking number and all of those things you put it there the, the body of the, the the email will come All right so once you are done also save changes okay hope you are getting what i'm doing then you come to multiple package setting you can look at it now there's nothing to do here just leave it the way it is then you come to map setting map setting simply means enabling map on your google on um, your 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 logistic website you can see it in enable shipment map history you can enable it enable it right then you now put your google map api key you put it here so once you are done with that you just go down and save changes okay but then if you don't have it don't don't stress yourself about it if you don't have it just leave it the way it is like that once you have it just add the api key the major thing you have to do here is getting the api keys once you get your api keys you are good all right so that is about the wp cargo settings then the next is what shipment come to shipment once you come to shipment you click on let for the phone look at all shipment if they have history so you look at now no shipment shipment not found there's no shipment here 
So what you now do is what you click on add shipment. Shipment means simply means what you want to send to your client. All right. If for instance I'm sending a parcel from Nigeria to somebody in uh, in US, so what I'm sending to the person is not the shipment. What I'm sending out is the shipment. So once you are doing that, click on add shipment. Okay. As you click on add shipment, you can see. Look at this now. DTZ, SYZ. That is the WP code. This particular um, logistic website, this particular team, and this WP Cargo, it enables you to automatically generate tracking code. This is this thing you are seeing here is called the tracking code. This is what the person will use to track the person you are going to fill here. Everything you fill in this if this uh, this uh, blank space, this is the tracking number that we use to track this. Okay, and you can see. This, this thing automa automatically generate tracking number by itself okay so it this tracking number now is only unique to this parcel here if you give it to another person to track a different parcel, uh, parcel it will not work this same information that will be here is what the person will get so you need to make sure that you are giving the person the right information so first and foremost once you get this now you come over to this place you can see she pass detail this she pass this is the same as what the sender's details the person sending out the parcel why this is the receiver okay let me just fill all these things and show you let me just do something okay i just put let me just do something okay let me just do something all right um, type of shipment is international or air freight international shipping you are shipping from one location to another the weight you put it there the package envelope type confidential all right you can see it all right select payment mode and paying by check or cash all right carrier i'm using dhl departure departure time Okay, select the country, destination, I can say Nigeria, where is Nigeria, okay, okay, pick up time, you can also select pick up time, sorry, pick up time, let me put this okay so you can see the oh let me fix the departure time again departure time you can see it fifth and the time like that then you have the uh, carrier if you don't have if if you don't know what to put they just leave it blank payment uh, mood is it land air then quantity put the quantity if it is two total freight total this thing you can put it if you don't know leave it there leave the reference the carrier reference number leave it there origin so you can also put nigeria where is um destination oh sorry 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 the destination is uh, let me see i use them where did i put germany and this is nigeria sorry destination where you are sending it to okay come to germany the origin Nigeria or is it is it okay then pick up date pick up date pick up date I will say tenth all right expected time of uh, expected uh, delivery date I can say all right then if you have a note you want to send out to the listing you want to add a note to your client you want to add a note for them to see what you can type whatever thing you want to type there all right you leave it there then you come to this side you can see the date all right the date is here the time is there location you can fix the location nigeria you can see it there 
then status is it in transit or delivered or in route so you can put it there the remark if you want to leave a remark you put it there so once you are done with this the next thing let's leave it like this you are seeing there so once you are done with that the next thing is for you to publish okay you publish so this is the tracking code now this is the tracking code let me copy this and put in the in the notepad i will show you why we will need that later okay so let me just let me just open it all right so just paste it there Okay, so now that I've done that, now that I've done that, <coughs> so copy the, I will copy this code now, I'll copy this code, alright, come over to this, I'll just open a, a notepad, I'll paste it here, alright, so now that I've done this, let me go over again, so what to do now, since we have done all of these things, now let's go back and continue our settings from where we stop. So come to this place now, then come to um, come to preloader settings. Let's go back to where we we are editing. So come to this place. You can see now this is where we stop. This was the exact place we stop. So now if you want to edit this now, I can change this place instead of get a code. I can now say um, track package. I can say track package. All right, then. I will not put the link of that particular page okay so I will come to this open all page in a new tab so I open all the page in a new tab then I will select that track I will select that track let me see next okay you can see track then I will right click and copy link to so come over to this place then I will paste, paste the link here Ctrl V, you can see it now. Then I will do what? I will save changes. I'll save changes. So leave every other thing the way it is. Now let me open this page in a new tab and show you something. So the moment I open it in a, in a new tab, you can see the name has changed. Load, you can see the name has changed. So you can see the logo has also changed. So you can see everything we are doing, they are taking effect. Then you can see track package. I will click on it. So once I click on track package, you can see the place to place the I am tracking number is already available. So I will just come over to this place now. Copy this tracking number that come here. Paste it, Ctrl V, and I will click on track results. Good track results. You can see. You can see the results that came out you can see the result that came out All right this is the logo please don't mind the logo the logo is big i'm just leaving it for the sake of this video All right so you can see this is it everything that we did when we are setting up our wp cargo this is what you get this is the 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 barcode like i told you this is the barcode and this is the receipt if you click on this now to enable you to generate receipts generate receipt so you can generate receipt for you, you can see print invoice all right so now that we have done all of this let's go back and continue so you can see the tracking number and everything is working the tracking number and this is working so let's finish up now let's go and create the menu so now that we are done with that let's come over what's okay we are done with this then the other one is typography typography you want to change the font color you want to change the font size you want to do all of this you can edit it here then you have the block setting block setting you can put it there so all these ones you have the block style then social link you can see your social link these are the you can if you come here you can see facebook twitter link uh, instagram youtube 
and Skype. You can see there, this is where you fix the link. You can see Skype. I can remove this Skype. If I don't want Skype. So what you do is copy the Facebook, your Facebook link, you put there. Your Insta, your Twitter link, your Insta LinkedIn link, and your your YouTube. You can also add your your Instagram. Okay. Once you are done, you save. Okay. You save that. Then you come to your footer. Your footer setting. You can see this is what this is what I mean by footer. Where is it? This is what I mean by footer. You can see this now. This is where I mean by footer. This is where I mean by footer. You can see the footer, right? So you can edit. You can put your images there too, right? So for you to do that now, like I said, let's go and create our our menu. So come over to this place. Come to appearance. As you are in your appearance, come to menu. All right, click on it. These are the these ones are demo um the demo that came with it these are demo right so i don't want this i'll just delete them off I'll click on delete I'll click on delete right so no menu there which one is this one too just select all and remove select all Okay. Just select all. Okay, it's there again. All right, so just select any one of them you don't want. Just select all before we start working, so that you can create your own the way you want it to be. Okay, the way you want your own to be all right i will click on what remove selected item you will just check out so i want to remove it i don't want all right so now click on i can come over to this place and say main menu you can say main menu then you click on create menu See there, click on place menu. Then you cannot add the item you want to be there. You can see the front page. I want it there. I want the battles. I want the air fret. There you have the contactors. Do I need the track? The track distance? No, I don't need that. Then I now come to services. Okay, I need that there too. Alright, so what else do I need? Let me add this and see what is the menu. So once I have this now, you can see. So I don't this home one. I will need to edit it. I, I don't want home one. I just need home. I'll just remove that one. You can see a battles. Let me look at this and see a battles our services. So you can see with this now you are done with your menu. I don't want this air fret. Let me remove the air fret. Let me remove the air fret. In place of air fret, I will put blog. Okay, which is news. Good. I will put it there. I will put it there. Then I will move move it to the center. I don't want to be news. I want to be blog. I just I can say blog. Okay. Then I will save. So once I open my site now, in the new tab. can see I see our services contact us all of this so once I click on services now once I click on services you can see to show you us what we do so easy very easy now since we are done with that since we are done with that let's come over again so let's go to appearance and go to customize Let's go to appearance, go to customize. Hope you are getting what you are doing. Please, like I always say, if you have any issue, 
please do where to reach out to us do what is very very important very very important do where to reach out to us all right so we'll be glad to help you fix any of those information any of those issues you have so do you have anything to do here no having to do here i don't think so okay so since that is no issues there now let's go back again just come over to your to your site now open your site in a new tab open your site in a new tab let's remove all of this let's remove this let's remove this so you can see the site now then click on edit with elementor very important click on edit with elementor once you click on edit with elementor you will be able to edit everything you have here all this content you have you can edit them you make you click on edit with elementor because that's it you can see it now you can see all right once you are once i want to work on this now you can see it now so slider you can adjust it you can see it you can change the image this image you are seeing you can change it here you can change the right up that you have here the same thing you do on the second one you can also do it all right so you can see it is very easy to use very easy now come over to this as you are moving your mouse the moment this elementor is enabled as you are moving your mouse around this the content is showing you where to edit where not to edit where to edit where not to edit you can see this too the one if you want to let's say for instance i want to edit this part once it's showing me just click once you click, you will see the content here on your left hand side. You will see the content here. So you can edit it. You can edit it. The same thing if you want to delete this one off. Let's say, for instance, I don't like this. I can delete it. Just right click uh, your left. Right click or click on delete. You can see the, this thing is no longer there. Alright. So that is how you do it one after the other. You can see this part. Now, if you also want to edit it, just click. Once you click on it, you will see this one is what F right. Click on F right. You will see if there, there's no image, that's why this place is blank. Okay, let's look at the second one now. The second one is what ocean fright. If you look at ocean fright, you can see image inside ocean fright. Then you can see the content. You can edit it, copy, paste, edit, copy, paste, edit. Very easy. The same thing applies here. You can see this one. You can see the warehouse. You can see the warehouse. So all of them gradually, gradually, you'll be working. So this is how you edit the home page. Just look at the way I'm be doing these things. This is how you edit the home page. Any one you don't want, don't be scared about it. The one you don't want, you can easily delete it off. All right. So like this part now, just watch me. I don't want this the right price for you. I don't want it at all. I'll just come over to this place. I'll click on delete. Okay. I don't want this one too. I will also scroll down I don't want this now like I said I will delete them off anyone you don't want you can easily delete like for instance I don't want this now just click on this it's gone this one too if you want to edit this if you don't want it you can delete it you can look at this now if you also don't want it these are company that they work with you can you can delete it off anyone you don't want just is easy delete all right can delete them off one after the other so you can see now that you have done that the rest is for you to edit click on this it's an image you can see if you don't want that image to be there you can delete it you can see you provide a uh, leading contract logistic uh, this one so you can edit them you can see which by just doing that now i've successfully removed everything i don't want then i can just scroll down and click on update I click on update so you can see everything is is almost ready right so if at all you look at this now you want to edit the picture click on it these are members Scroll down you can see them right so if you click on it this is the picture you can change the picture if for instance i want to change this picture now just click on the picture it should take me to the library you can see it now you take me to this place if i don't have the picture here i can come over to this place and i will upload the picture okay i'll upload the picture so that is how you do all of this because you do that now you change the picture edit all the content one after the other 
So the same process with which you do the home page, that is how you edit the about us, the blog, the contact us and the services. Okay, you edit them one after the other. Alright, so I haven't done that now. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Do you have anything to do again? No. So now that we are done with that, I'll save. Then let me come back to the page. Okay, I've done the home now. Let's look at the about us so that I can show you the same thing. The same thing. Nothing. The same process which you, which you changes. Right, so let's go back again. Let's go to all pages. The major thing is making sure that your WP cargo is working and your tracking number is your tracking uh, code is tracking page is working too. If your if those things are working, the main, the other stuff that's left is for you to just edit. Okay, I've done the this. Let's check um, about us. Good, let me open edit elemental about us just make sure that these pages are working one after the other one after the other you edit them one after the other okay you can see the about us now you can see the about us you can see the about us what is it saying six reason why choose us three time tra uh, tracking and all of them have content for you so you don't need to give yourself over it you can see them so the one you don't want like i did before i'll just also come here I, I remove this okay i leave the other one uh, if you don't want if you don't want it there you can also delete them off right so that is how you edit the pages one after the other one after the other now let's go back and look at how to edit the footer i think that's the only part remaining then we'll just do a little touch all right so let's go back and check how to edit the footer then if you come over to this now come to your back end then you come to appearance you will see elemental header and full tab builder so click on it and open a new tab if you open it in a new tab you will see that there are different footer pages that have been built let's view them one after the other open this in a new tab open this in a new tab let's look at this first two if you look at this one now this is almost like the one we have on our site no, let me come over you can see it's almost like the one we have on our site you can see it now almost the same thing look at the footer too it's different you can see the, the, the two is different and if you also check the three it's also different if you look at the three the three is also different you can you can see the three the three is different you can see the theory is different all right so you can edit any one of them you want you can change it if you don't want the, if you don't want the footer one you left footer two you can change it okay i'll show you how to how to do that now let's quickly edit the footer the one that we are using is footer one which is let me see footer one okay this is footer two you can see footer two the one we are working with is footer one which is this so for you to edit it now also click on edit with elemental it's very easy you can see the way i've been doing this so if i'm to take my time now to work on this thing in less than an hour or maximum two hours i will be done with the full website okay so you can see once you click on edit with elemental this this uh, boss will start showing you can see them showing so you can now edit them the same way you have been editing before you can look at this now this is a logo click on it you can see you can see it uh, change choose a new logo you just click on it put the one you want make sure the uh, image you are putting the logo you are putting is it it has a transparent background that is why you can fit in make sure it has a, a transparent background most most likely have it let the image be in png so once in png you can fix it here and also the make sure the size is small then these are the texts also click on it if you click on it now you can see them here the moment you click on it it will display on your left hand side the moment you click on anything here it will display on your left hand side so you cannot edit from your left hand side that is how dv uh, elemental works that's how elemental works so you can see them so let's look at it now get in touch click on it you can see the phone number 
you can change the phone number you can look at this get into this is address you can change the address you can click on it change the address you can see it there. change the address to your location the email same thing right then you now come down to the footer which is where you have your social icon you can also edit them then this part is showing 2022 transland you can also edit it click on it you can see it here put your let me change this one now you see how it is let's say i want to put it to tra, uh, sorry trans okay say trans express you can see it now trans express limited you can see display there all right then the social icon also they are out there you can see them you can see them so if I want to change the color now of this, I can come over to click on this. Come to style. I can change this. Or is it? So I'll click on the background. Click on this. Okay, then I will save. Always make sure you save whatever thing you are doing. Okay, always make sure you save. Okay, so. Let's look at the background here. We have. Okay, so you can change this. Once you are done, you save. Right, so that is how you change the footer, edit the footer. You can see it, everything you have doing since. If you also look at this now, you want to change this. Come to style. If you want to put start black, you can see it now. I want it to be black, you can see it. Then I will save changes. The same thing you do here, click on this dot. I don't know why this one is not taking effect. So also change the, the the image, the background color. I see the background color. Then you save. All right. So we are done editing the footer. All right. So now let's let me quickly show you something. If you want to change the footer, the footer to the one you want, click on footer. All right. So once you click on footer. Right, let me see footer bottom you can see the footer bottom you can see the this thing we edited at that time footer top setup four column okay let me see how many columns do we have there one two three four five this is five column Right, so you change the so if this so if this doesn't apply, let's check customize. Yes, I think customize is customize. Yes, customize. Go to appearance and go to customize. Go to appearance and go to customize. Okay, so why that one is coming up? If you take your mouse to your your blog now you'll be seeing my blog my wordpress blog i don't want that so we need to change it too okay if you come to your site you come to set identity you can see it here click on it you can see my blog my wordpress blog i don't want that i'll change it to what i want trust express limited so that is the name trusted delivery company I say trusted delivery company. You can see it. So we must do that. You publish. Then you go back again. So you have other things you want to change. There you can you can change them. The color, the header image, the header image. You can see any one of them you want to edit. You can. I did them from here background and water view.
so you can see that with just less than an hour because even we are talking and the video is not up to an hour yet less than an hour you can finish a full-fledged logistic website now let me quickly show you how to add a live chat this is an example of a live chat you can see this now let me show you how to add a live chat come to your site then come to plugin click on add new click on add new all right search for tedious chat there are different kind of charts just search for tedious chat okay search for it you may to type it there you can see it here tedious live chat chat button this just click on install and you click on activate okay the moment you do that it will appear on your left hand side here. you can see tedious chat just click on it again to set it up to set it up so you can see to set it up simply means just have an email and a password and uh, a password yes so what i will just do is i think i have an email here just put just put uh, hello at com then my password is there and I'll click on this then I'll click on get started you can see it's very easy now to take me to the panel where I will not finish the customization so I need to put the name there what I will just do is I'll just say live support okay then I'll click on continue okay then what is my main focus my main focus is to have a customer to solve a customer problem and increase it all right then number of agent i will just put one because i'm then industry industry service then just getting started you can see it there then click on continue just greet them warmly then click on install widget the widget will be automatically installed to your site you can see it now so just give it some time it will install you can see now is the installation is done you click on continue okay now we are good now let's open our site and see if it was truly installed let's see if it was truly installed okay perfect you can see it now you can see the live chat working perfectly so that is how you create all of this you can see if we just less than an hour we have successfully created our uh, logistic website with all functionalities with all functionalities tracking number tracking code barcode live chat integrated all right hope you enjoyed this particular training thank you so much for staying to the end of this video Please and like I said, if you have issues with it, do well to reach out to us. My name is Amazing Amadine God bless you for staying to the end of this video.